people. I think this shows the strength of concern there is right across the House of Commons about the risks that the government might just drift, even by accident, into a damaging and chaotic no deal that would hit manufacturing and policing and security. And that's why I think this was a strong message to the government to make sure that doesn't happen. So this amendment applies to some of the powers of the finance bill, means yeah. the government would not be able to use them to pursue no deal unless it had come back to Parliament first and asked Parliament's permission or has looked to extend Article 50 in those very risky circumstances. But I think what it does is show the strength of feeling really across the House that we need to stand up for manufacturing industry, for policing and security and that means avoiding a chaotic no deal. So there's still a whole range of views about what the best way forward is but I think what this vote shows is the strength of concern against no deal and also a willingness across Parliament to vote to prevent a, a damaging and chaotic no deal that could hit our manufacturing industry hard.